Just as the sun casts shadow over lazy moors and meadows, so the moon illuminates the hidden world of the open road as it curls. Through draconian fens, whose residents refuse amends, muttered mutely by modern mouths. As we trudge silently through their fetid homes, though we rarely stumble upon their languid lairs, and even less likely to perceive their secret, sordid affairs. Time and time again, men go missing in the marshes, where they're lured through ancient arches to be laid atop an ornate plinth, bled dry and discarded amongst the wild mint, or to be wholly devoured all at once upon a murky midsummer night's hunt. Our reasons matter little to these hungry elder things. Though feared upon the moment of our meeting, we know little of the doom they bring. No soul taken in this fashion shall ever rest easy. They retain a quiet vigil with whispers low and wheezy. Should you tune to disused frequencies while passing in the dark, you may hear their whispered warnings begging thee to hark. Hurry through these dusky lands, for deadly denizens glide on gaunt wings over where the fen begins, serving their morbid masters masquerading as the meek. Luring the unwary from the trodden paths they seek, whether it be the bobbing luminescence of a long-forgotten lantern, or be it a plaintive whisper or wail echoing from archaic cistern, it's a fool's errand to be chivalrous in these parts. Be it sacrifice or the twisting of a mortal heart, no good can come from tarrying here, so please listen with bated ear. Let this be a warning to those traversing the dark alone. You know now to avoid these fetid homes and standing stones, for they mark the boundaries of our mortal realm. Lest thee be a modern knight, donning sword and helm, to do battle with the spawn of the abyss, you'll become just another vagabond few would ever miss.